So we have made it down here to Lucky Strike Mine on Red Canyon Road here in the San Rafael Swells. You can see the mine behind us. We're going to go check out some of the buildings that are in front of us and take you guys along with us. Good morning, everyone. So today is day two of our trip and we are headed down to Red Canyon. But I thought I'd give you a review of our camping tent that we have. So this is a Coleman's Dark Room Technology tent. I really like this tent, except for I wish it was all that dark. So you can see down here at the bottom where the rain fly doesn't reach is um, lighter. So once the sun comes up, you're like awake. But other than that, I really enjoy this tent. It's got pockets on both sides. We have had five of us in here, I think, last year when we went camping. But I have a question. How can I fix this part of my door? So this is looking front of the tent. And as you can see down here, we have a rip right there. And not sure how to fix that. So if you could tell me how to fix that bottom of the tent, that would be amazing. But again, like I said, this is the top of the tent. I wish it was all that dark. But as you go down the sides where the ring fly is not, it's not this dark. So I have another question. So I have this Coleman's sleeping bag here. And, uh, this sleep bag is amazing. So for how do you fix this part right here? So Kevin has owned this sleep bag since he was like 13. I have slept in it for 23 years. See? Coleman sleeping bag. Um, super warm sleep bag. But I need to know how to fix this part. If anybody knows how to fix this part of a Coleman sleeping bag, that would be amazing. Because like I said, this sleeping bag is so warm. We have another Coleman sleeping bag over there. And the inside of it is pretty tore apart as well. But these sleep bags are so soft and warm that, as you can tell, we just keep using it. So if you guys know how to fix the inside of these sleep bags, that would be amazing. But they're just such good sleep bags and such a good tent that I can't just throw them away. So if you guys know how to fix any of this in this video, please let me know. We're going to head down to Red Canyon, down to some stuff down there, and maybe some petrographs or petrographs today. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share, and leave a comment. Bye. So as I was zipping up Kevin's bag... We're missing teeth. But again, these are super good sleep bags and they're getting wore out, but I can't unzip it one handed, so hold up. But I thought I'd give you the full full view of his sleep bag. So it needs a new liner, and I don't know how to put a new liner in it. 
So if you know how to put a new liner in here, maybe a new zipper. I know that's probably a whole new sling back, but I'd rather just fix what I've got. So let me know, guys. Here's Kevin making our breakfast. He's made us bacon and sausage, and now he's grilling our our bagels. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thought I'd show you the front of the tent. So there's a little storage room, which makes it awesome. Because you can store all your goodies on the inside and keep the bugs and all that out. But, like I said, we got to figure out how to fix that hole right there in the main door. So we have made it down here to Lucky Strike Mine on Red Canyon Road here in the San Rafael Swells. You can see the mine behind us. We're going to go check out some of the buildings that are in front of us and take you guys along with us. So these are known as the tar paper shacks. These are where the miners would sleep. Let's go in, see if anybody's home. Pretty big in here. I did just notice somebody left their their mattress they were also remodeling because they left their painters tray but there's all the metal screens on the windows let's go out and see another shack kevin's checking out their cellar there's a shack up there the refrigerator. Oh, couple refrigerators. I think this is an old stove over here. Not sure actually what that is. Maybe it's an old furnace. Oh no. Let's go see what Kevy's doing. So here's their old cellar that they had. <laughs> Not much being stored in the cellar these days. So here's another one of the shacks. It has a sidewalk up to it. Oh, and it has party wallpaper. Look at that. It has apples and apple trees. Oh, and they have their stove and their kitchen sink. At least somebody can make himself breakfast. Hey, four burner stove. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's go check out the car that's down in the river. I think somebody's uh, shot it up pretty good. Not sure what make it is. 
but they ran it right into a rock. You can see up there where the mine is. Let's see if we can see what type of car this was. No idea. Let's go find Kenny. So we're just across, headed up to where the mine would be in. Here's some old mattresses. Not sure what all this is. Here we are up at one of the openings. Maybe a couple back there. But we're not gonna go in. In fact, that one has a door on it. So, so you that shoot. We can now make a bunch of stuff down there. Well, guys, I tried to prove Kevin wrong that we could take the Denali up and see what was at the end of this canyon. Well, needless to say, the Denali is behind me with Kevin. He's getting it turned around. While I came to see where this road goes, so I'll turn you around and show you where it goes. So you can see the road down there in the bottom. Um, it is very washed out. Uh, so you cannot drive up it anymore. As in, it turns into a river. And then it comes out of the river right there, but I don't see anything back there. But... I really hate it when he proves me wrong. But that's half the adventures. And he loves the adventures with me. Love you, Kebby. So this is actually where the road went. But as you can see, there is no road here no more. So, and that's the river down there. Not getting up through those rocks either. But it used to be a road. You can see that right down there. So this is where I left Kitty. We were down there in the river bottom. But just thought I'd show you. 
That was quite the hike. But we made it up here. But I'm not getting over to that. So this is as close as we're getting. Okay, now that I've somewhat caught my breath. We're thinking this is the main entrance here. And then that one and that one. And then I gotta come back out here to the ledge. That one are uh, offshoots from the inside. I think Heavy says there's another one over there. So, but we're gonna go check out the hoodoo art over there. So here's another entrance where they've got it all blocked off. So we're gonna head back and go see the hoodoo arch. <laughs> 